Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today we're going to check out Bofeng's replacement for the UV5R for 2023, and that is the UV17. So let's check it out. Okay, in the box you get the uh, manual here, and it's a typical manual that you get from Bofeng, or most of your Chinese radios. It's not too bad. We get the, uh, this is the charger, and I probably won't use this because it has the European um, plug on it, and I'll probably be using the USB, but it did come with this. There's the belt clip. The belt clip actually does bolt, uh, screw to the radio, so that's a good thing for you guys that like that. It seems strong enough. And now we have the uh, charge cord. It's a USB-C, which is good. Uh, you know, other manufacturers should check this out because this is what we should be doing on HTs. And then you get your little lanyard. And I don't usually usually use those, but uh, it did come with it. Now the radio itself is a very good quality. You get the knob on the top to turn it on and off. It's a color screen. We'll talk more about the uh, screen later. Make sure you <laughs> stick around to the end. We'll talk about that, and I'll show you some stuff on that. And on the left-hand side, you have your push-to-talk. You have your uh, button on top that turns the light on on the bottom, and then your uh, FM radio there. And if you look at the bottom here, we have the, uh, the torches, or lights, as they call them. And uh, easy turn on, easy turn off. They work pretty good. On the front, the, the numbers are pretty good size. On, and on the, on the right side here, you have your, this is your port for your microphone or for your chart, or, you know, setting up the radio on the computer. And there is a site for that. On the back, you do have your, uh, there's your screws for your uh, clip. And then there's the charge port on the battery itself there for the USB-C. And this, you can use, if you have two batteries, you can use this battery and charge the other battery while you're doing it. It has a screw at the bottom there that's supposed to keep it more watertight. And on the top, you can see, the, uh, here's the antenna. And also in the middle there is a little light that lets you know when you're transmitting or receiving. All right. In the front there, the little LED. And this is uh, your typical... Uh, 136 through 174 and 400 through 520 on the uh, receive and transmit. I, like I said, the, the build quality of this radio is really, really nice and uh, I, a lot better than the old UV5Rs. So now I'm going to show you a little comparison between this and FT60. FT60 is one of my favorite radios from Yesu. Uh, about the same total height um the antenna is a little longer on the on the 60 but the, the body's a little longer on the uh the 17 but pretty pretty nice and pretty pretty comparable as far as the build quality i would say maybe not quite as good and now here it is to the uv5r the radio that it's supposedly replacing or updated from and if you see the screen is way bigger and again we will talk about that make sure you stick around to the end we're going to talk about that screen the color screen that is and uh, physically, thickness is about the same. It's quite a bit long, taller radio than the uh, UV5R. Okay, so here's the uh, Bofeng site. Uh, this is the Germany site. I'll put a link in the uh, description for you guys. This is their site. Basically, it says an upgrade to the UV5R. That's what they're telling. This has 999 memory channels, which that's, that's something new for Bofeng. I think they used to be like 120, something like that. Here's just some of the features, and we'll talk about some of those at the bottom of the screen here. It's, this is a, a really good thing here. The, it's got the USB-C charge port on the back of the battery. Now it is on the battery, which means that if you have multiple batteries, you can charge one while using the other. So that's a that's a pretty pretty nice feature. It has color screen. There's this picture of the screen. We'll show that to you later. It has a couple of LED lights at the bottom or torches, as they say in some countries. It works pretty good. And then here's just a, a list of all the different ports and buttons and stuff and what they do. So here's the features. Uh, 1.77 LCD screen, high power, which is 5 watts, up to 999 memory channels. And I, like I said, I think that's new for, I don't know how long uh, Bofeng's been doing. I know the old UV 5Rs were like 120 or something like that. 
uh, has DT, DTMF coding, UHF, VHF, full band transceiver, quick menu operation mode, computer programmable, um, wired copy function. I don't really know what that is. Um, emergency, if you guys do know what that is, put it down in the comments. Uh, has the emergency alarm, wide and narrow band uh, selection, and the LED flashlight. On the right hand side, you've got your back button and it switches from your top and bottom frequencies there. Okay, now we got the menu system and we just I'm just gonna scroll up. You guys can look and see what it has on each one. And it goes all the way up. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. I think it's a, to a total of 40. So you can go through all those. And you can hit the numbers to move yourself up a little faster. Uh, if you push push menu and then hit the, one of the buttons, it'll bring you up to that menu. Testing KK6US. Right, this is the audio coming from the UV5R. Testing 1, 2, 3. KK6USY. Testing complete. USY. This is the audio from the Yesu FT60. Testing 1, 2, 3. Test complete. KK6USY. Clear. Testing KK6USY. This is the audio coming from the UV17. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. KK6USY. Testing complete. Okay, now we're going to look at the, uh, the charge port on the back. And you see you plug the USB-C in here. You uh, get a little LED light there. It's red, red right now. I think it turns green when it's charged all the way. So that's real handy. That's what I'll probably be using. And now let's just, we'll take the battery off and take a look at the battery here. Um, it has the one screw that holds it in. And there's the back of the radio. It gives you your frequencies and Bofang and the model number. And then it's an 1800 milliamp hour battery. And now we're going to go outside. This is the thing I don't like about the screen. The color screen is great inside. I mean, it's not the greatest I've ever seen, but as soon as you walk outside, you start losing it. And now when I get into the sunlight here, you'll see in just a second, you, you can't see anything. And so the, the screen is terrible. I'd rather have the uh, the old screen from the UV5R, tell you the truth, because, I mean, right there you can kind of see it again, but it's not very good outside. Okay, all in all, I think the Bofang UV-17 is a pretty nice little radio. The build quality is really good for the price of the radio. Uh, it's It feels really nice in your hand. But I do want to tell you that uh, I want to thank Banggood for sending this radio to me for the review. Now, they didn't tell me what to say. All the opinions are my own, and I didn't have to show them my video before I posted it. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. For Ham Radio Ventures, 73 all, be safe, and I hope to catch you on the airways.